How's it going? I just got a surprise SCAD package, although admittedly this is the most unprofessional package from SCAD I've ever seen in my life. Because if you look, it has like my name and address and junk, and it just says SCAD. There's no return address. That's a little fishy. Scad sent me Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> no, this is uh, this is from Dan. Uh, you guys know Dan, right? It hasn't been so long that everyone's forgotten about Dan. Yeah, Dan had a, Dan had Red Dead Redemption. You probably saw it at school. I asked him to mail it to me, but there's no return address. And Mallory pointed out that it was mailed from not from Savannah's zip code, so. Good try, Dan. You are a sneaky person. And thank you for the game. I look forward to playing it. Actually, as of right now, Dan is in uh, Europe. Uh, Dan went is going to England slash France. Not that they're one place, like England and France. Uh, and he's going to be over there a week or ten days or two weeks or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. And he actually bought a flip for the occasion. And he is going to be doing vlogs while he's there. Um, so as, by this time, hopefully they're up. But if not, you should subscribe to the channel anyway. So go here and 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 subscribe. It's pure Dan. It's pure Dan, and it's in its finest. And I also talked to Dan, and he's probably not going to be doing vlogs once we get back to school because I do vlogs. But he may do something. Like, Dan thought of the day or something where he rants on something. I don't know. But he may do that. So, you should subscribe anyway. It's like Dan all the time. Everybody loves Dan. It's July 3rd. And we worked a double shift. Let that sink in for just a second. It's a Saturday. In a tourist town. In a tourist town. The day before July 4th. People coming in to see the fireworks on the beach. It was a long day. We went in at noon, 12 o'clock. It is now 10.30. You know, we just left. Now, granted, we did fantastic money. In fact, I did better than I've ever done at Carabas. Like, I've never done that good, ever. Um, so, yeah, we did really good. But doggone, we couldn't sit down for 10 and a half hours. And, like, my feet feel like mush. And my back really hurts, and I really, really need to, like, relax badly. Remember when I got Red Dead Redemption from SCAD and it was actually Dan? Well, I haven't had a chance to play it because I've been working on vlogs, and right now I'm waiting on vlogs to render. So I decided I'd put it in and play a little bit of it. And there's a note in it from Dan. <laughs> so I think I should probably... Read it. Steven, here's my copy of Red Dead Redemption. Have fun playing it, but too much fun. I think he maybe said, he meant to say not too much fun, but he said, have fun playing it, but too much fun. You may not be able to run over people on the sidewalk with your car like in GTA, but just get creative. Maybe ride your horse and hogtie someone and drag them as you ride, or even get a carriage and run people over that way. Anywho, hope you enjoy it. Tell the fam I said, hey, give Rocco a pat and hope you guys come down to the big FL soon. Your bud, Dan. <laughs> okay, this is great. At the bottom here, Dan wrote Fanciful Diner Manners and he wrote Pirate Raymond. Even though it's Raymond. And then he drew Rayman, like the video game character, which is awesome. And he also wrote Jumtu because we had a professor who was like, you need to take computer mouse and double click on a zoom tool. And it was really funny. Also, no one is going to get the Pirate Raymond Fanciful Dire Manor stuff. I'm sorry. You should tell a story. It's not going to make any sense because it doesn't make any sense. But very quickly. Basically what, was, what happened was uh, Alex was working on his final... I don't know if you guys remember watching some of the videos where, like, uh, we had to, like, 
he was doing like the big levels and stuff, and he had to go in there and do all this. Anyway, if you if you go back and watch any of the stuff from this past quarter, you'll see v videos where Alex is working on projects. Anyway, he wanted to have uh, uh, characters do voices, so he had me and Dan do voices, and uh, he had me be like the evil bad guy villain person, and he gave me some very loose lines, but not anything solid, and he was just kind of like, I don't know, just do whatever. There was no character names or anything. So I ended up calling the hero uh, Pirate Raymond and just randomly for no reason uh, as the villain I was like mm, Pirate Raymond we meet again. Hmm. You'll never overcome my fanciful diner manners. And like we kept rolling and then at the end Alex was like what? What's that? <laughs> I don't know, you said just do stuff. So, that's the explanation of why fanciful diner manners are funny. He, I, don't, I don't think he even used it in the finals thing. And if you bug him enough, he should make like a YouTube version of him playing through the, the, the game. I'm sure it would fit on YouTube. So, uh, everybody should go to uh, YouTube account Wasabi Milkshake and be like, hey... We want to see your game, because it's funny, and me and Dan's voices are in it, so, and Alex made it, so it's a, it's a three for one deal. You referenced fanciful Diner Manners and other vlogs, like when we were at the aquarium, you were like, It's funny, because of fanciful Diner Manners. Yeah. And then when we went out for crab legs. Pick that crab. Yeah, I'll show you my fanciful diner manners. Yeah, see, the Pirate Raymond fanciful diner manners is becoming a thing that no one knows about, so I'm glad I could explain it to you guys, at least kind of understand. And like I said, fanciful diner manners, maybe even Pirate Raymond may not even be that. I don't know, those things may not even be in the video, but it's stuff that we said during recording, or I said during recording. That's why it's funny. It's not even that funny. It's one of those, those in things, and you guys are are out, but I'm trying to bring you in by telling you the story, and you're, like, I don't know, let's play Red Dead Redemption. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williams and what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. But I've been playing the game for, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes, and I like it. It definitely feels pretty much exactly like GTA, except... In the Old West on horses, but so far, very fun. And I'm not even into the game yet. Preemptively, I give Red Dead a plus. I'm sure I'll play more in the coming days.